Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Last time we uh, got the HM Fly, and uh, last time I also said that I'll be doing side quests, but I decided against it. I decided that when I get another HM, which is Surf, I will do the side quests then, so that I can just cover the side quests in one big part instead of being all scattered, scattered up. So it's much more easier. And I save time as well, so it's not gonna. Oh, wrong side. It's not gonna be all cut up, and you can see all the side quests in one part. The side quests will include. Um, after this is after I get surf, like uh, I'll be doing catching Rotom, and going to the how um, to the Pokemon Tower, the one next to Salazian Town. I don't know what it's called exactly, but. We'll be going there too, and other areas where we can use Surf and get extra items and TMs. What? Okay, so before I was rudely interrupted by that stupid giraffe rig. Um, yeah, and other places where we can get TMs from uh, from surfing around. So if you talk to this woman, she says um, she's dropped her sweet key somewhere, so we have to find it for her. She says that she left it when she left the reception counter, so that gives us a hint. This way is Sunny Shore City. Sunny Shore City, there we go. Um, and if you try and go there, this dude blocks you and he says that there's a big blackout in Sunny Shore City, so you can't really go there. So for some reason they just shut down the whole city. Okay, so this is the Seven Stars Restaurant. This thing is only open in the morning and you can battle a lot of double battles here. So if you're if you're into double battles like I am, you'll love to fight here because every morning there's loads of different trainers here, so you can battle here every day, and it's great for experience. I'll be doing this off screen, uh, just so because there there's no important battles there. If you want to, I mean, I I'd suggest you do so that you can get as much EXP as you want. If you come to come in this room, this is the game director of the whole game. So if you fill your Pokedex, you come and show him and he'll give you a special item, which I will not spoil. Come down here, you can grab a PP up, and I've explained what PPFs do, so I'm not really going to go on again. Okay, and repel war off. So, we're still at the Valor Lakefront. Okay, so the woman said that she lost her sweet key somewhere around here. So, if you use the dowsing app, you can actually find it right about here. So, there's the sweet key. And here, I think there's a hidden item here. And I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, so, if you come back and go to the woman... Oh, those two items you'll get, as you can see, there's little rocks there, so you can get that after you get rock climb, so I'll be showing that in a future part. And if you give her the sweet key, she just opens the door and runs away. What an ungrateful bitch. So, go back in and claim your reward, and she will give you the white flute. White flute is a really rare item from Hoenn. If you remember, before going to Fall Arbor Town, you collect ash, and you gave it to the guy, and he'll make you flutes, like the white flute. And white flute attracts wild Pokemon. If you're just standing in grass and you use the wild flute, it's like honey or using sweet 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 scent outside of battle. And talk to this guy; he'll heal you. Uh, he's nice because he doesn't have you don't have any um, reservations, so he can heal you. Talk to that woman; she just talks about how he, she wants a prince or something. Fairy tale crap. So here you can grab a yellow shard, also for learning special moves. No way not. There's some. There's a whole area. This area with sand. There's two trainers here, but there are like at least three or four hidden items. So I'm gonna battle these trainers first. So real quick, I'll speed both two up.
All right. I want you guys to tell me something in the comments. <clears throat> Sorry. Would you prefer me speeding up the battles like I have been? Or would you prefer me just completely you know, cutting out the battle so you can watch more of the actual LP instead of, you know, watching sped up battles? Because I don't mind either way and I, I it's I'm making these videos for you guys, my viewers, so if you want, I can just cut out the battles. I'll too, if you want, I can tell you what Pokemon were there. So if you, I mean, I don't know. If you really want me to cut out the battles, I can. And if you don't, then I won't. Simple as that. Okay. So moving on, there's a fisherman. He talks about the, uh, the Seven Stars restaurant. There's a fancy hotel and a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurants filled with fancy people who thinks of them <laughs> themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. All right, so this guy is a trainer. Alright, so after we're done with that guy, this is the Dr. Footsteps house. He's kind of like the guy who measures your Pokemon's happiness and gives you a ribbon for that. So he just let, let your Jolteon walk in front of me. And that's what your Jolteon thinks. It basically just tells you what your Jolteon thinks. Pokemon think of you, but I'm gonna put up Celestia up front, so because I think Celestia has max happiness, and maybe, maybe it will get the ribbon because it did faint once, so and that's what Arizona thinks of you. This is for you, and there he gives you the footprint ribbon. So the footprint ribbon is just like an extra ribbon on your Pokemon. Other ribbons you can get it for contests and bad gym battles. Not gym battles, but winning the championship and whatnot. So there's the footprint ribbon for having just max happiness on your Pokemon. Okay. Moving on. This is a really important item right there in the top right. I think this is a trainer. I hope this isn't a trainer, but yeah, it is a trainer. I'm just gonna cut this battle out. I'm not even gonna splash forward it, I'm just gonna cut it out. Alright, that item right there is really important, and I don't have my bead barrel right now, so I'm gonna go back. Um, when I go back, I'll get it in here. Um, I think there's just a honey tree there, but I may be wrong, but I'll come. I'll quickly. We'll, we'll come back here because we need that item. Okay, no wild Pokemon, no wild Pokemon. No. Yeah. Uh, you can just grab those berries. I'll grab them off screen because I'm lazy. I don't wanna waste time. Okay, and we are here in Pastoria City. Yes, the next city we're supposed to go in. And oh look, there's a Galactic Grunt there. Girl, the package hasn't arrived from Wellstone Warehouse yet. I have to wait here until then. She could do something. Yep. Smashing job. Hmm. Is he thinking that he needs an explosive job? Okay, this guy, if you remember in Wellstone City, the guy, the woman who gives massages, I don't remember, I think, oh yeah, you need to give it poffins and make it like beautiful and all that crap and it'll give you scars. Uh, yeah, there's, it's not much big of a deal. If you come here, you, you're a Krogunk. Ooh, you're a Krogunk. Krogunk. Okay, <laughs> moving on. This guy. He talks about how the Great Great Marsh has um, different types of Pokemon and all that. Alright, so he talked about the Great Marsh and we will be going there. Um, just to, I don't know if I'll show you the Great Marsh because all there is is just rare, but I mean not that rare, but 
you know, decently rare water, wild Pokemon and a couple items. To, you usually, I mean, in Diamond and Pearl, there used to be an HM in there, but now there isn't, so you don't. It's not necessary to even go in there. So, what I'll do is just get those items off screen, and I mean, you should. I would recommend going in there anyway. It's like the Safari Zone, but a bit different. Okay, this guy is really important. He is the guy. Pokemon Move Maniac or Move Tutor. He. I mean, pretty much he's like a Pokemon relearner. Move relearner. So if you go to him, and I think I'm going to use one on Rexro because uh, Rexro can learn a wide variety of moves. And seeing as I want. Uh, ice, we don't have any ice moves on us right now. I'm gonna teach it Ice Fang instead of, I guess, Screech. Poison Jab seems really, really, hmm. I may teach it Poison Jab, I don't know yet. But we need Ice Fang for sure. Okay. So, there's Pokemart. One interesting thing about the Pokemart, in Pastoria City only, there's a Krogunk statue in there. I don't know why, it's just... It just looks really Krogunky. <laughs> so you can get I think they sell our special Pokeballs that we Yeah, Dusk Balls. These are really great. If you're in a cave or in the dark, you mean nighttime, these ball these Pokeballs work really great. Also quick balls, if you use this at the start of a battle, the chances of catching Pokemon are much higher. Other than that, it just works as a normal Pokeball. But if you use it right smack dab at the start of the battle, it's different all right so I think so if you come down here there is one item I think yeah right there you can get a zinc and I think yeah that's about it all right so the thing is if you remember when we were in heart home city and that one route was being blocked by those reporters this is the, that route, Route 212, and this is all the mud, And but there are a lot of items, I mean, there are, there are a lot of good items here, but you can get stuck in the dark parts of the mud, so stay on the side, and look for the items, because there are a lot of items hidden here. And if you, like, wiggle around, you can get some. Uh, you can escape the stupid mud. You're standing on the item right now. You can grab an Ultra Ball. There are a lot of items here. I think there's another one. Yeah. It's right there. And there's a Dawnstone. Dawnstone is a new evolutionary item. And you can use it on... Actually, I'm not sure who you can use it on. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do this route in a bit because I need my HM slave to get that one item real quick. So. I'll meet you there real quick. Okay. So I put Riley in the PC box because it's horribly uh, over leveled. It's nearly, I mean, it's one battle away from being level 31. And here you can grab level, I mean, TM40 Aerial Ace. And this, I think I may, I'm, I'm still going to hold on to it for now. Um, for my movesets to come through. And I may teach it to uh, Rexro. I'm not sure yet. Even though it is a flying type here, you can, it's just a honey tube. I think there's a hidden item here. Yeah. There. You can grab a Hyper Potion. Alright, so now that we're done here, I'm going to meet you back in Pastoria City, to that route we were talking about. Okay, so we're here on the rainy, rainy route. Uh, we're really deep into the record, deep as in, I mean, it's been, the recording has been 19 minutes, but I'll probably be cutting out some stuff and speeding up some stuff, so we'll be shorter than that, but, we'll, but it's still going to be a long part, so I'm going to, not skip, but try and skip all the trainer battles and do them off screen because really they're not worth showing. I just want to show the items and all that stuff you can get here. So if you have cut, you can skip a lot of trainer battles on at the top end anyway. Oh, not this guy because he turns around. So pretty much you have to try and sneak past him. 
damn it. I'm just gonna cut this battle out, guys. Alright, so he just he added a lame Kadabra and a Magnemite, so you can battle him for the Magnemite so that you can actually see it for your Pokedex, but you may have seen it. I'm not sure. But honestly, it's really not worth battling. I mean, not showing you all these battles, I think. I'll battle him now, but I just won't show it. Makes much more sense, right? Okay. She got a Wooper and a Quagsire. I'm pretty sure you'll see it in the next gym anyway, because it's a Water-type gym. So you'll see it soon. Here, there's a Parasol Lady. I really don't want to... Uh, don't want to find her. Okay, skipping her. All right. She had a Goldeen and other water types. But, important thing, this guy. This is one of the people, one out of three people who've been collecting shards for. So if you look at this board, it will show you how what moves this guy can teach. I think this is this is the best out of all three. So this guy teaches a really, really wide variety of moves. So like Zen Headbutt, Ice Punch, all the elemental punches. I'm gonna see. I'll try if I can teach um Monferno. Fire Punch, I don't know, we'll try. I don't have enough shards, alright. Best way to get charged is going underground, but we'll see if Rex Rowe can learn anything. I don't know. I'm just trying to, yeah. So, that's the move tier. If you have enough shards by now, I don't know how. I mean, if you went under underground and stuff. So, yeah. Alright. So, this part might stretch out a little bit. There are a lot of items here hidden and not hidden at the same time. I'm going to look for them. Emulator is kind of messing up. I don't know. I want to show what items you guys can get here. Max repel. Oh, that not that big of a deal, but you know, an item is an item, still free. There's one below. And we're stuck. Scanning up. And there's a rare candy, really important item right there. Okay, so I'm gonna search for other items in my own time. Because it's really just wasting you you guys' time because you don't want to watch me get items and stuff. So there's trainer tips, read it. Don't need tips. Fishermen, I'm not gonna fight because they're really annoying and most of them have magic harps. Even though not all of them do, but most of them do, and I really don't care about fighting magic harps right now. It's just not worth it. I'll do that off screen. Trainer, uh, other trainer. Okay, it is very, very important you fight that guy. That guy has two really rare Pokemon. Um, I'm. Umbreon and Espeon, the Johto evolution, evolutions, I guess. This is TM62 Silverman. It's a really good um, special bug type move. I don't think any of our Pokemon can learn it, but yeah, it's a really good move. If you have like a, I don't know, a Dust Tox or something, teach it because it's a really good move. Okay, if you come this way, I don't think there's any items. Oh, there is one. That There's one item there, but you need to surf for that. There should be an item here, or else it'll be pointless, yeah. And a big mushroom. It's just like a small mushroom, tiny mushroom, but it just sells for more money. Right. I just really quickly want I'm sorry if you guys don't like it that when I skip trainers, but I really just want to show you the whole route instead of, you know, leaving it to the next part so I can just straight on get to the gym. Police officers will only fight you during nighttime. Because they don't, I don't know, they just like nighttime, I guess. Alright. That double battle up there, you, if you don't, if you didn't pick Chimchar like me, you need to fight it because that, these two people, one of them have a Monferno, which is really important to, um, it's really important to fill up your Pokedex. So yeah, Monferno in that in those two trainers. I have to get past them, so I'm gonna skip that double battle 
who's gonna go up I think so I'm gonna I'm not using Celestia the reason I'm not using Celestia is because Celestia is gonna be really useful in the next gym battle so gym the whole gym so it's gonna earn a lot of EXP so I'm just gonna leave Milenko and Blaze up front so yeah see you in a second I guess all right so two important things that person had a Monferno and a Leafeon so if you don't if you didn't evolve your Eevee into a Leafeon you could go look at it there and also Celestia I had to use Celestia and it leveled up and it learned Toxic Spikes it's a really great move I replaced Grass Whistle with Toxic Spikes because uh, if you lay down one layer it poisons it if you lay down two layers it badly poisons the incoming Pokemon it's a really great move I think there's an item here maybe wrong yeah I'm wrong Okay, you see those two coming here. You, if you have, if you're running out of money, you fight these two with the amulet coin. Uh, they give out a lot of money. Also, I'll show you. There's two more trainers around here that will give you a lot of money. But first, we come here. We'll get that item later. This is the Pokemon Mansion. Uh, you, if you have to come here to complete your Pokedex, because if you go read that book right there. Manaphy, it will show you the picture. So, yeah, information of Manaf Manaphy attack is in your Pokedex. If you talk to Mr. Backlot, the guy, he'll just brag about his garden and it's so awesome and whatnot. So, nothing major there. If you go up here, there's a little garden where you can catch Pokemon. The trophy garden. I don't think there are any items there. Nope, no items. But you can catch like Pikachu and Pichu here, which is really rare, I guess. So if you're if you want another electric type Pikachu, you can find Pikachu here. And that item, I think, yeah, it's a shard. It's a green shard. Again, used for making, getting moves and whatnot. So swiftly moving on. I think I'm pretty sure there's a, yeah there is an item. I knew it. There's an item hidden in the middle one. It's an Ultra Ball. So yeah balls all the way I don't, I'm not sure if he's a trainer or not but I want to skip him look away look away Q okay he's cut over here you can surf here to grab that item it's uh, if I'm sure it's a rose incense but here you can grab the TM11 Sunny Day, which raises um, has the sun up for five turns, and it raises the attack power of fire type moves, and also lets you fire solar beam straight away. Okay, those two trainers they give out a fuck ton of money. They have um, the woman as a Rosalia, and the guy as a Chatot, and they give out a lot of money, so it's really worth battling them. And if you have the Wii Seeker, you can do it over and over again with the amulet coin, so you can get a decent chunk of money. That item, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll get it when we get Surf. Okay. Is there an item here? Nope. Here's another honey tree. Just to slather honey on to catch Pokemon. And we are done with this route. And we're back in Heart Home City. Cool. So, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we'll be going back to Pastoria City and taking on the gym leader, Crasher Wake, if you remember him from Wellstone City. So, yeah, guys, see you next time. And sorry if this part was too long, but I had to get it out of the way. So see you next time, guys. Peace out.